Hi, this is Ryan with Better Tattooing, and we have another Positioning Basics video for you today. We're going to be talking about how best to tattoo, position-wise, uh, the hamstrings on a person. It's not actual like ham, not hammies, it's just in you know, short form. Anyways. Alright, now that's over. The hamstrings on a person is relatively difficult to tattoo because normally they're pretty painful, right? Um, you can't just have somebody sitting in a chair, bending over a chair, or doing anything to like get this done. Like you have to have a flat surface for them. So on average, let's go back to our stick person drawing here. You're gonna have a person laying face down on top of a table, right? I'm just chilling out. Uh, and with their legs out, I mean, this is usually a pretty good enough space to like, uh, you know, you're tattooing here, you're just chilling, you're gonna be working on top of their hamstring. Um, it works pretty well, but you can actually get additional stretch if you take a, another measure for this, right? If you grab a, like a foam roller, wrap it up in something, put it in a um, disposable um, a barrier, uh, if, even if you have one that's maybe uh, covered in a non-permeable membrane so you can wash it effectively, throw that underneath the person's hips and create a little bit more of a bend. When you get that bend, it'll pull that skin a little bit tighter. We used to use that a lot, especially if you're gonna be getting higher up on the back of the legs. It works really, really effectively. It gives the person a little bit of a support um, so that they're not uncomfortable. And it just makes that actual angle a little bit easier to get to. Now when you do it, because this is gonna be up, it's gonna end up turning that leg a little bit further away from you, some areas inside the tattoo may not be as visible. So what you wanna do is actually position the person a little bit crooked. Instead of going straight down there, have them lay at one end and go corner to corner, right? It makes it easier. That way this is moved over. You have the ability to work from one side or if you need to, right, you can have the person scoot down a little bit. Maybe put an armrest if you have one underneath them for their put, um, to put their foot upon. So if they scoot down, right, you can actually get right back over the edge here and start working on that hamstring as well. Pretty easy, huh? Anyways, that's it for today. Easy one. Positioning basics for hammies, done.